oh, you know, we blew up. You know, we're a big band. You know, what do big bands do? Something's not right. Something's not right. Oh, something's not right. Tonight. Something's not right. Something's not right. Oh, something's not right. So Nick, tell us, this is your house, where you live? Yes, man. Are you want the tour? Cool. The ensuite. It's got kind of a home studio, but it's where I do, it's where I write. I feel comfortable here. Uh, we met as, you know, young lads. We had an instant kind of attraction. Um, French, as friends. I was in another band that was doing the circuit with those guys uh, called Spirit Quest, and we were kind of a uh, psychedelic kind of band. Did a lot of drugs and played a lot of music. The music wasn't actually that great. I think most of the crowd was on drugs too, so that's why they enjoyed it. It was this crazy thing where, like, as a practical joke, uh, I got this chalk that I'd found in my hotel room. One night we were in tour in Amsterdam, he thought it was a funny idea to, you know, tell everyone that he had some cocaine and he didn't. What he had was a stick of chalk crushed up. After a show, like I gave him this baggie and he snorted it. Go back in time, get a time machine, go back in time and tell Steve, hey, we're a big band, you can actually get cocaine. You don't need to give your lead singer, the most important fucking person in the band, a stick of chalk to get high with. He went solo, uh, he wrote that single. That's not chalk, which I really don't mind at all. I think it's a catchy tune. Basically, he's thinking about how he now has cocaine that isn't chalk. That's not chalk. That's not chalk. That's not chalk. Don't wanna hear you talk. You can save the world. Cause that's not chalk. I'm talking to you, Steve. That's not chalk. It's a kick ass track, dude. That's a fucking kick ass tune. Heard that on radio a few times. Great video. He looks good, you know, he still looks good. He's still got it, you know? The thing about Steve is, he's a fucking mess. He's an absolute mess. He's kind of a shy dude. I think he's also very insecure. Bonjour, bonjour, mon ami. Hey, good morning. Hey, croissant. Do you like classical music? Yeah. What sort of music do you listen to? Well, I'm not the biggest fan, but you know, I don't know, Mozart and Beethoven and stuff. Yeah, yeah, I love Beethoven. What other classical music are you into? Valdi. Three Seasons. He has to get completely, completely drunk before he does anything. He's got the biggest case of stage fright I've ever seen. Like that. That cooking show is embarrassing. He's such a nice guy when he's not on the booth, you know? But, uh... I don't know, it seems to me that it's pretty obvious that he's definitely back on the booth because... I mean, he drinks on the show, so... Who's that chef? With Steve Palmer. Woo! Yeah. Let's make some television. You gotta start with the uh, oil on the, on the hot stove. We'll mash the bananas. You just gotta mash them. These are beautiful pancakes. I buy them by the dozen. Um, today we're gonna cook some food. That's why we're here, right? You gotta make it soft. Yeah, you gotta sauce that mashed banana up. I've been Steve Palmer. You've been awesome. I'll see you next week. I got something cooking up for you that'll make your heart sizzle. I'm not even hungry. You guys want an orange whip? Orange whip? Orange whip? Juanita, three orange whips! I did pretty well out of um out of the band. As you can see, it's my humble abode here. Pretty awesome. Just kicking gold with life, dude. I'm stoked, stoked that you guys are here. Stoked to be stoked to be living this life, dude. Yeah, I, I do a, a number of martial arts. 
I do some capoeira and I have my brown belt in Tai Chi. And uh, yeah, I, I think I'm not a violent person, but if someone comes to me, I will step to them, you know? Do you ever feel like using it when you're on that, uh, throw that egg, throw those eggs shut? No, man, no, man. That's, that's a spiritual experience for me, dude. Let's get in the zone. They don't even feel the eggs, dude. The moon I love TB, and um, you know he's doing a great job, sort of in his, um, you know, on that network. Um, yeah, interesting show. Uh, I'm a big fan. You know, I love eggs. Are you anxious about meeting Steve? No. Who's Steve? Steve, the guy you arranged to meet here, the guy who, who... Who... The guy I arranged to meet here, or the guy who arranged with me to meet him here? So you excited to see Nick? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's been a while. Alright. Yeah, you wish. Hey. <laughs>